I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Five of Swords. And it's with the Nine of Wands. Now, when you get the Five of Swords, it can be about having some mixed feelings. Could be about some people or a situation. But since we're talking about you and your person, it's indicating that there could be, there could have been some conflict, maybe fighting. Yeah. Yeah, there was some fighting or after fighting, maybe you or your person tried to make some situation right, but there was fighting. And what this fighting did was it caused the Nine of Wands, which is the card below the word pass. It caused you to probably feel like you needed to build a wall between you and your person. It could have caused some anxiety and worry. Yeah, but the recent past energy, definitely some fighting. Someone tried to make things right. And then someone started to close themselves off. And then there was anxiety. Yeah, so that's a recent past energy. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what is coming up for the two of you. So we got the Nine of Pentacles. And it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Pisces, these are two great cards. Two of the best, two of, I would say, well, the Ten of Pentacles is one of the best cards in the deck, and the Nine of Pentacles is right after it. It's just short of one Pentacle, so not bad for what's coming up for you and your person. Now, with the Nine of Pentacles, it's indicating that the connection actually takes, takes a turn for the better. It could start to rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. And things will be going better than you thought possible with the Nine of Pentacles here. So, it looks like things have turned around for the better. Maybe a fight is what you two needed. Because you got the Ten of Pentacles here also. Which is indicating that you could start to feel like the connection is becoming more committed. Your person could be reaching out to you for commitment. Because the Ten of Pentacles can be about engagement, marriage, childbirth. Um, if It feels like it's a relationship. Or your person could be reaching out to you wanting a relationship with you. Or just to take it to the next level. Um, if you two are living together, it's finally starting to feel like the two of you are in a place to call home. And it's start, starting to feel home and more comfortable and just more like a, a commitment or committed relationship. Yeah. Two great cards here for what's coming up. It, it's a, the connection takes off to the next level. And like I said, your person could be expressing that they really want something with you. They want a relationship with you. Or something even more. Marriage, commitment, childbirth. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Emperor, and it is with the Ace of Wands. Well, this Emperor is actually a, it's a type of energy or a person that um, does not like to open up their heart. 
This person could be a boss, they could be a leader, or someone who's very arrogant. Um, this type of person usually does not want to come across as being vulnerable. Very cold type of energy. When I um, start to explain the Emperor, it gives me chills. It's a cold energy. Yeah, they only use their heart. I'm sorry, they do not use their heart. They only use their head, this Emperor. Now, it's with the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, very powerful new beginnings. They could be in the area of accomplishments. It could be related to work or career, family or romance. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. Very soon with this Ace of Wands. Yeah, Ace, this, this Ace of Wands can be about some type of um, passion also yeah so your challenge Pisces Emperor clarified by the ace of wands well it seems like things f are feeling like a new beginning and you two got a fresh new start because you're no longer fighting anymore and it looks like to me it looks like the fight is what actually helped the connection because like I said, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles is what fell out the deck for you after I shuffled for what's coming up. And these are two fabulous cards here. So for a lot of you, things will turn around for the better. It's going to feel like a new beginning with this Ace of Wands. There could be a lot of passion between the two of you. But the Emperor is here. So you could be dealing with someone who is not that great with opening up their heart they're not that good with showing emotion yeah but they do want a new beginning with you i would not deny this at all they do want a relationship with you but but for some of you you're dealing with someone who who doesn't really like to open up their heart they're the type that just they're more comfortable using their head than their heart now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So, we've got Temperance, and it's with the Knight of Wands. Well, Temperance is actually about finding balance. It could be in yourself, or balance in your relationships, or possibly with some goals and aspirations that you might have. Um, yeah, with Temperance, you have to realize that before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you need to have peace with yourself. Maybe take a look at anything that you feel guilty about, any mistakes that you feel you've made in your past, and forgive yourself and let it go. Because it's really the only way you can truly make progress. Progress in life or progress with um, relationships. Now, it's with the Knight of Wands. It's the card below the word outcome. Well, Pisces, the connection is it's, it's looking up, it's looking better, and you feel like it's, it's becoming more balanced. But there's that Knight of Wands. You see how this Knight of Wands, she's on, I guess, a horse? And she's ready to take off and go somewhere, but she's looking back, like she's looking over her shoulder. So she, she's trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, you could be feeling like um, because your person is not the type that really express expresses themselves or they're not the type to be vulnerable this could be the type that gives you make you feel that they're detached or just a very cold type of energy so you're always you could be always looking over your shoulder to see if every is everything all right yeah 
And it's because things have turned around for the better. But it looks like the outcome is showing that you're going to always be looking over your shoulder. Like, is everything okay? I mean, did I say something? Did I do something? Because your person, they just become detached a lot of times. Or they just don't show you their heart as much as you need them to. Because they don't use their heart. They just use their head. So that's the outcome. Yeah, it feels like the connection is becoming more balanced. But you're just always looking over your shoulder. Trying to figure out, that, you know, what's wrong. Yeah. So that is the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for, for there's also a link below for uh, personal readings. That's what I'm trying to say. If you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. Take good care during this virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong and come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people in the reading can be switched. They can be reversed. I mean, you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.